All the nation pastors and all the UCC family, it's really a pity. When I was in school, that school called Highway Makere. I was so crazy and stubborn. Crazy. Stubborn. I was not born again. Pastor said for all you, Pastor Jordi on the community, come in the students pastor, UCC. Pastor Jordi was the students pastor in UCC. And they were in the fellowship. The late Kimbabwe is the one who took me from the street and took me to that school to take care of my kids. And I think the wife is around. In that school, because Miss Tambogo and the wife were born again, and they, they are the ones who are taking me from the street. They would be happy every time they see you going to pray and they would pay your tuition for your school fees for the next time. But so I would go to the born again, but just that these people who are paying my school fees would see that I prayed. So they brought a pastor. At that time, I didn't know his name, but later I came to know that he was Pastor Sensory. And he preached about heaven and hell. He taught us about the inner man, however much he was still young. I started asking myself spiritual questions. And every time he would come, he would repent so much, saying that that man, I would sit behind in class. Those students were already stubborn that when the preacher says that the Lord told me and would ask him, Where did he find you? I was so stubborn. And one day, Pastor Sentima preached and he asked, Who wants to give his life to Christ? And I put up my hand. And my colleagues there. I had got saved many times, but as I backslided. But Pastor Sefuma well explained for me heaven and hell. And I feared so much hell. And for me, I didn't get saved for any other reason, but just because I feared hell. Pastor Sefuma by then was driving a car that had the word written on it, UCC, which I hope Pastor Bon remembers. 
Okumanya ya buli na geyena, na kulumune ndota echiloto. And to be sure that he really preached about hell, one time I had a dream. And I said, if only I can say out this dream and take my seat. In that very week when Pastor Sefma spoke about heaven and hell, I had a dream. When very many people had died and we were in a line. Line we were very many in that line, but you would come to a certain point where you stand on a stone. And if you stand on that stone and it happens to push you to the left, you start crying out and weeping, and then black men come for you and they take you. But when that stone casts you to the right, then you become so excited, and then those in white come and take you. Of course, right. And in my heart, I knew that if I happen to come to this stone, of course, I'm going to go the right. Little did I know that when you stand on that stone, it spins you around. Like, like, like 180 speed. Like. It spins you at about 180 then, revolutions. Then it throws you. Then By the time I woke up, it was literally spinning me, but almost casting me to the By the time I woke up, it was literally spinning me, but almost casting me to the Hey, hey. Do you know waking up when making an alarm? Pastor Senfuma would be in his office every Tuesday. And I went and explained this dream to him. And he told me that that stone is Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and life. Get saved properly. That the day you die, you may not go to hell. I so much followed Pastor Senfuma. He preached to me. And his gospel was not diluted. He became a poster that always reminded us about heaven. And I beseech Pastor Boni Musoke. And I told him, I also want to be like you people. Pastor Boni was a mechanic. And he told me Pastor Boni was an engineer, and every time I would come from school, I would go wait for him, and after his work, I would go with him for evangelism. Because of time, when I started hearing the voice that would call me, I was 19 years old. And like Samuel, I went to very many pastors. And Pastor Senfuma elaborated and explained to me his story in Zendevi. And he told me, I am also here, but I was not qualified to be here. Go and minister. Today, probably worship house will not be in existence. Probably it would not be in existence if Pastor Senfuma had not come to our school. I want to thank God for his soldier. I spoke with him about one month ago when we were in the burial and he gave us a good gospel. I thank God what hurts me is that he has already mm. been yearning to see the white mm. woman and the last word I spoke with her he was saying me he was telling me to bring her to him. So he's a father, Tata. he's a hero, he's a teacher, and we will miss him.
Gamaliriza. As I wind up. Gam ga apostomika la waga. As apostomika la says. Katonda tuyo abantu abavulire njuri nge ya pastor Sentima. May God give us other many people who preach just like pastor. Nagambe ku Facebook yangu. I said on my Facebook. Eh sine we ya chuo ka pastor Sentima ya chuo sa njuri. Even when the world changed, Pastor Sentima never changed in gospel. The one I saw when I was in senior two, his word never changed. He never changed even a dot. I'm going to request him. We take one more minute and stand on our feet. To come in and for one minute in the honor of this general. And we clap for one minute in the honor of this general.